Okay, here's what you need to know about hard drives in a nutshell. These large drives on the left, these are desktop drives, these are laptop drives. You, with an adapter, you can use a laptop drive in a desktop to make it fit. And in fact, new desktops are being built with smaller um, trays or bays so that you can install one of these smaller hard drives in it. And I'll explain that in just a minute. But we're currently still through a transition where some people with older computers have the older style hard drives and people with newer computers have the newer style hard drives. Now these, this is the old style, this is the new style, this is the old style, this is the new style, and this is the real new style. But what I'm referring to is the interface. And when it comes to old and new, the ones, the ones here are the old ones, and all three of these are what we consider the new ones with regards to the interface. If you look at the back of this hard drive where it would plug in, this has what's called an IDE interface, and that's where it's got this large ribbon cable that plugs in here, and then a large power cable plugs in here. And on the equivalent laptop drive, that's IDE, it's got a bunch of these pins right along here, and typically it's, it's one large connector that contains both power and data that plugs into that. And it's actually pretty easy to bend those pins, although they're pretty easy to bend back. Too much wiggling and the pin will break off, and the drive will probably be no good. So if you're dealing with a hard drive that's IDE, that has a large ribbon cable going to it, then it's probably time to buy a new computer. Don't worry about replacing the hard drive. That's my advice. That said, let's get these out of the way. Because this technology was what was used up till about, oh, I want to say five years ago. After about, uh, after about five years ago, everything started switching to the new connector, which is called SATA, or S-A-T-A, and it's a much different looking connector. It's got the power connector goes on here. I'm sorry, power connector goes on here, data connector goes on here. Sometimes it can even be one connector. It's most often two. You've seen it in my build videos, one for power, one for data. And these things here you don't touch, that's for the factory. And what's interesting, when they made this new adapter, or this new interface rather, no adapter was necessary. You'll see this is the laptop equivalent. This is a laptop drive. And it's got the exact same connectors in the exact same spacing. You see, if I line these up just like that, you'll see that the connectors line up perfectly. So that way, you don't have to have any adapters when you're putting into a smaller device. It also helps when you want to pull a hard drive from a machine and put it into like a USB dock that you're using the same connector. I used to have to need one connector for these drives and a different connector for these drives anytime I wanted to hook it up to USB. And then power was a different separate situation altogether. So what's this drive you ask? This drive is a solid state drive. Now what's the difference between them? Well these are mechanical hard drives. In fact, of course these are mechanical hard drives. We're gonna get rid of those. We're done with those. Now um, Actually, I'm not done. Let me, bring that, let me bring this one back. Let's put that one over there. Let's put that one over there. Because internally, regardless of the interface, they're the same internally, these two. It's just a smaller version of what's inside. So this is what you would find inside of your hard drive. Now, if you open your hard drive up and you expose it to the elements, you've pretty much ruined it. So I don't advise you to open up a hard drive unless you know for a fact there's no data on it, the drive is dead, or you don't care about the data on it and you want the experience of taking one of these bad boys apart and seeing it for yourself. But keep in mind when you put it back together, it's probably not gonna work. And if it does work, it's probably not gonna work for very long. Uh, it's very important that uh, the, the surfaces here remain free of contaminants. Contaminants so small you can't see them with your own eyes. And microscopic contaminants will ruin these drives. So it's amazing these work at all, quite frankly. 
And because the way they work is this spins, right, like a record, and then this head moves back and forth like a needle. And that's the sound you're hearing when you're hearing your drive making that racket when you're doing something like, I don't know, a defrag or something like that. And so uh, this one, whew, I can tell this one's bad. It sounds horrible. Um, <laughs> a solid state drive is like a flash drive. Now, if we take a solid state drive and open it up, what's interesting is there's a piece of plastic here and it only exists to make the uh, case bigger. The solid state drive is actually too small so they had to make it bigger to fit into, uh, to replace a laptop drive. So this right here is the case, right? We can get rid of that. This is the actual solid state drive. You'll see it's got the same SATA or SATA interface here, but notice there's no moving parts. Now with the new 3D VNAND technology on the Samsung Evo 850 series, they're saying the lifespan of these drives could be up to a thousand years. And currently with the previous generation, the 840 Evo, uh, Samsung drives that, uh, that I read the article on, and I'll put links to the articles in the video notes below. Uh, they said it should last somewhere around 72 years under heavy usage or something along those lines. Or, uh, it'll, it'll be in the article, but regardless, this is the drive. And again, it's just, a, uh, it's just a flash drive, but it's very, very fast. In fact, in general, this type of drive will be three to five times faster than this drive, mechanical drive, either of these. And the capacity of this will be about one third the capacity of one of these drives for the same price, actually for quite a bit more. Right now you can get a mechanical drive like, uh, oops, a mechanical drive like these started around $50 and the USB drives let's say $50 for 250 gigs, and a 250 gig solid state drive runs about $150 right in that range. So the price has come down, but uh, this is the way to go anytime you can because it's much more reliable, it's much faster. You never, never, ever defragment solid state memory. This is called a solid state drive because it's there's no moving parts. It's in a solid state. You understand? This has moving parts. So these are mechanical drives, normal mechanical HDDs or hard disk drives. This is an SSD or a solid state drive. And when we put it back in its, in its case here, which it just kind of all just slaps back together, you see how it makes it bigger, makes it thicker. And by doing that, if I actually rotate everything in the right direction, when we put this back together, you'll see that it resembles the same size and shape as our desktop, as our laptop drive. I gotta get all the right words out. As our laptop drive right here. Uh, let's see, I probably have that up in the backwards. Okay, so here's our laptop drive that's mechanical or our HDD. Here's our SSD and look, they're about the same thickness, same size, same length, same width. And that way you can replace your drive if you have one of these in your laptop with one of these. And what this will do is give you much more reliability. It's gonna use less battery power, it requires less power to run, which could increase the battery life on your laptop. And it'll read three to five times faster than whatever you have in your laptop now. So even if you're not having a problem with your laptop hard drive, but you wanna increase the speed of your laptop, if your laptop has a SATA based hard drive, then you can replace it with a SATA-based SSD. It's that easy. That's how you know if it's compatible. On the other hand, if your laptop has a hard drive like this, uh, it's obsolete in time to replace the laptop. So that's a little bit on hard drives 101. Now, one last thing is why do you have a hard drive? The reason you have a hard drive is that when you turn your computer off, it forgets everything. You know, if you've ever been working on something and you've lost power while you were working on it, you've lost that document or that whatever it was you're working on because it didn't get saved to the hard drive. The hard drive holds on to all the data while the system is off. When you turn the system on, it doesn't know anything. It has to be re reprogrammed every time. So that's what we call loading and it loads the operating system. 
that most of us use Windows, some version of Windows. And then within Windows, we have our programs. And within our programs, we have our data. We always talk about backing up data because we can always reinstall programs, but we can't recreate data. And data recovery can be very expensive. Now, I'll have some videos on data recovery, basic data recovery, coming up soon or in the future. I don't know how soon it's going to be, but they're coming up. And uh, you can replace, even on your desktop, if you have a mechanical drive like this, you can replace it with a solid state drive. And if your case, if your computer case uh, doesn't have a spot to install this, you can buy an adapter that will make it fit this size. Uh, also, they were making solid state drives for desktops. And all, <laughs> all it is is the same little tiny circuit board right here. But they just put it in a bigger case. That's all it is. There's your SATA connectors. They're all the same. That's all it is. All it has to do is making the system faster, more reliable, uses less power, never defrag.